sub second time today's experiment is ipv4 addressing so uh, first we need to know what is class will addressing we have five four uh, five classes class a b c d and e addressing the address space is like this so class a addressing there are actually for all types of addressing in ipv4 we have four bytes first byte second byte third byte and fourth byte so each byte will have eight bits it can be either by decimal representation or binary representation like this dotted decimal or hexadecimal notation also so uh, these are the notations so this is an example for dotted decimal notation uh, this is an example for decim for uh, sorry binary notation and we have hexadecimal notation also so it would be four uh, bytes like this four bytes will be there first second third and fourth so we need to know which type which class of addressing is it is so in ipv4 the addressing is divided into these five classes class a b c d and e our address may belong to any one of this address so generally we uh, the companies use class a b and c addressing uh, d is for multi class and e is reserved so to find which type of addressing it is if the first in the first byte if the first bit is zero it belongs to class a if the first two bits are one zero it belongs to class b one one zero the address belongs to class c triple one zero class d one 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 class e addressing it is so check for the first bit if it is zero it is class a not zero na uh, one check the second bit if it is zero it would be one zero which is class b one one check for the third bit also 110 will be class c 1110 will be class d 1111 will be class e kind of addressing so uh, so uh, if it is in dotted decimal notation the first byte if it is 0 to 127 it is class a 128 to 191 class b addressing 192 to 223 class c addressing 224 to 239 class d and 240 to 255 is class e addressing so first we have to find what type of uh, uh, addressing our the given addresses uh, in uh, any of these addresses class a b and c we have net id and host id class d and e are not divided into net id and host id so in this class a the first byte alone is net id the remaining bits are the bytes are the host id for a group the net id is same the host id alone changes from 0 to 255 each number net id is constant for a particular block class b 2 bytes are net id 2 bytes are host id class c 3 bytes are first 3 bytes are net id the last byte is host id in class d it is multicast addressing it's not divided as net id and host id same for class e third for future purpose so we'll go for the experiment uh, so open the virtual lab for ipv4 addressing the link is given in the description go for simulation click here for simulation so we get this kind of box so first select class a addressing and submit so uh, we need to give ip address for the following computers with network id 16.0.0.0 in class a so as i said in class a the first byte alone is net id the remaining three bytes are host id so all these numbers are between 0 to 255 so the first byte is 16 for all the three nodes pcs in this value can be the host id can be any number from 0 to 255 Five. So, okay. Uh, we need to find the subnet mask to find the uh, what class it is. No. So here alone, since uh, first byte alone is net ID, e the the mask used must be. 255.0.0.0 so that we can find the net id alone and the remaining host id bytes will become zero to identify what class it is so again should be 
zero 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 and evaluate uh, the output will be pc1 in network pc2 in network and pc3 in network so the next class is class b submit so we are given 136.13673 in the remaining so if i give evaluate the pcs are not in network because we are using class p addressing where the first two bytes are net id so this also should be 255 for class b addressing the first two bytes are net one net id the remaining are host id so we need to mask it with subnet mask 255.255.0.0 now when we evaluate we get pc1 in network next is class c addressing in submit uh, so the first three bits are net ID. So 214, 219 given in the question. And the last byte can be any number from 0 to 255. 214, 29 and 219. Now, if you evaluate, we get error not in network because the first three bytes are net ID. Now, the PCs are in network. So, similar way, we have to find which ID is the net ID and host ID and which class it belongs to. Thank you.